Hello everyone, today I'm here to do a book review. Today I will be talking about Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the first book in a series. I'm not quite sure how many books it's going to be, but the second book, Gemini, just came out last year and I do know a third book is coming out this year. So for sure we know it's going to be three books, so I don't know if it's going to be a trilogy or a series. I'm not too sure about it. I don't care. I'm along for the ride, however many it may be. If you don't know anything about Illuminate, it's a YA science fiction novel and it's told through multimedia formats. It's told through IMs, it's told through journal entries, it's told through logs, it's told through dossiers. It's very, very multimedia enhanced. I love that even in some of the pages it'll just have um, an image and it'll have one single word on it and it really enhances the story. It makes it really, really unique. I love how it's told in multimedia format because I just think it's really, really awesome that it is told in that format. So I love how it's just told through all these various different types of communication. So what the plot of this book is actually about, the year is 2575 and we are on this really small planet called Kenzareza. I probably pronounced that wrong, I apologize. It's a very, very small planet like on the edge of the universe. It's like ice covered and nobody really ever thinks of it. Then this huge like attack happens. These two mega corporations are fighting over this planet. These ships arrive and help the people that live on Ken... Uh, I'm just going to butcher the whole pronunciation of this planet, so I'm just going to call it the planet. So these three ships arrive to help the people on the planet escape. One is a military ship, and two of them are holding civilians. One of the ships that attack the planet, called the Lincoln, is in hot pursuit of our fleet. These three ships that are trying to escape and trying to reach a jump station. They're trying to outscape the ship called the Lincoln, and they're trying to reach this jump station where usually one of their ships can actually create like a jump station almost like they can like create like a time sp I don't know I'm not a science fiction person a wormhole almost but their ship took it their ship took severe damage so they're having to travel like it takes a year to get to this jump station so they're trying to make it to there they're not doing so well on food and their ship's kind of broken and the water's kind of down and there's a lot of things happening and it's just getting crazy because they're trying to make it to this jump station but they also have a ship trying to reach up to them and trying to destroy them all. We also have an AI on the military ship called the Alexander that is kind of acting wonky. He got kind of messed up during the attack and he's kind of not acting his usual artificial intelligence normal self going on. Oh well, yeah, we also have a deadly virus on one of the civilian ships. It's mutating and spreading really fast. Again, we have the AI whose main job it is to protect the fleet, but it may actually be hurting them. So we got all that going on. We got a war going on. We're trying to escape the ship. We're trying to make to this jump station. We have a virus breaking out of one of our ships and our AI is kind of going insane. So one word for this book is insanity. We follow two main people in this book, Katie and Ezra, who literally broke up before the attack happened on their planet. They both make it out but they are on two different ships hence the communication with the IMs because they're talking to each other back and forth through IMs and things like that. So that's a big part of this book as well as them communicating with each other. Katie is a hacker. She is very good with computers. With help of another hacker on her ship they begin to uncover things that the corporate or the you know people in charge are keeping from the civilians on each of these ships and they're learning more and more that is a tangle of lies that's happening on this ship so they're trying to uncover it and trying to pack into systems and learn things that they probably shouldn't be learning. Overall, I loved this book. It felt like a roller coaster reading it. It would have these huge twists and turns and ups and downs and parts where it make me gasp and be like, holy crap, this is happening. It felt like a literal amusement park ride, which I loved. This book is a fast read. I read it in three sittings, which is saying a lot for me because I do not read fast nowadays. I think the way, I think the reason why it is a fast read because the plot is so fast moving and so intense and so twist and turning. It's also fast because of the way it is told through the multimedia formats, through IMs and things like that. Like I said, some pages are just literal artwork and some pages just have these short IMs. So it is a very, very fast paced book to read and you can read it very, very quickly. Do not be scared or intimidated by the length of it because it does look kind of long. It reads so very quickly. I don't find this book to be slow at all really. I will say the second half of the book moves so fast fast. The second half of the book is literally action-packed. Like every page there's something new you learn. Every page there's a different fight. Every page there's this new revelation you discover. It is so fast moving in the second half. The first half obviously has to build on a lot of things. You're learning more about these mega corporations that are really fighting for this planet and you're learning more about why the people that are in charge are lying to their fleet and it's just you know has to build groundwork but it doesn't move slow by any means but the second half just literally blew just blew this book out of the water for me the second half just was amazing and astounding and just action
action-packed, like I said. I recommend this book if you're looking for something different, something unique. I love how it's told in this various format through IMs and dossiers and things like that. And I recommend it if you're a sci-fi lover. I like sci-fi. I don't read it nearly as much as I want to or as I should, but I loved it and it really, really made my love for sci-fi grow even more. And the thing with sci-fi is I feel like the more sci-fi books I read, I still don't know much about science or space and things like that, but I'm so interested and compelled by it that I want to read more. And this book really intensified my love for science fiction and made me want to learn more about it. Yeah, in short, a ton of action, a ton of twists and turns. It'll keep you on the edge of your seat. It was overall an amazing, amazing book. So I gave it a five out of five. I loved every bit of it. I devoured it. I had over half of it to read on my last sitting of reading it and I flew through it because I could not put it down. I had to figure out what happened. I had to know. It was just, you can't put this book down honestly. The only flaw I will say this book has is the fact that it is told in such a unique way with IMs and stuff. There isn't a lot of room for character development. I felt that the characters could have been fleshed out more but it really couldn't have had because of the way the story is told. So I'm not seeing that's like a huge bummer of this book. It's something I wish we had a little, I wish we had a little bit more actual dialogue. I love the format that it's told in and how unique it is, but I really wish we had more dialogue so we could actually see, so we could actually really get a sense of the characters and maybe they could be fleshed out more. We could see them develop more. So that's the only flaw I have with this book is the fact that there wasn't a lot of room for character growth. Like I know this book has got a lot of hype, a lot of hype. That's why I have not read it for so long because I was so worried, but Honestly, if you love sci-fi, if you love a good story full of twists and turns with, you know, science fiction and things like that and spaceships and fights and all that kind of stuff, this will be a perfect book for you and you can read it very, very quickly and you'll become enthralled more than likely. I became enthralled. Like, it is amazing. So, I highly, highly recommend this book. Like, it is worth it. And I've heard the audiobook is also just as amazing. So, if you're worried about missing the visuals, I've heard a lot of people read the audiobook and read the book with it. But I've heard the audiobook is amazing on its own. So overall, I highly, highly recommend this book. One of my favorites of the year by far, like the literature's just begun, but I love it. So overall, like I said, I love this book. I am obsessed with the series now. I cannot wait to read the second book and I'm mad that I'm gonna have to wait like almost a year to get to the third book because these books are addicting. I love them. If you have read this book, please let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. I would love to hear what you think and where you see the series and where you think the series is gonna go. I would love to hear your thoughts, so please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. I will see you in my next one. Bye.